Hello and welcome to the Youth Drivers of Canada instructional video. My name is Harry Dick and I will be your narrator for this video. This is a Sam. He will be our demonstrator for this video. Everyone say hi, Sam. Hi. Our youth driver's vehicle is a robustly sexy Mazda MX-3, which Sam once ran into a sign with. Ha 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 ha. To begin driving, we enter our vehicle. To start, we will cover the basics of driving. When driving, we drive with one hand. This is considered proper driving technique. And we refer to this as principle number one of the Youth Drivers of Canada curriculum. While driving with one hand, we will have the other hand free to drink food or alcohol. We may also drive with no hands as principle number two states. For example, when we get tired, we may take our hands off the wheel to brush our teeth. I think I'm going to get out of the car right now. Well, see you later, Sam. I think it is best for me to be narrator in post-production. And I'm back. When driving everywhere, it is essential to use youth driver's principle number three, finger. This means we finger other drivers. Consider this. Sam has been put in a dangerous situation. The driver ahead of him has lost his garbage can. To avoid crashing into the garbage can, Sam does the following. Finger, observe the road ahead, honk at incoming traffic, swerve, and drive by finger. To control the speed of traffic, we tailgate the driver ahead of us. When driving in a normal fashion, it's important to leave less than one car length between us and the next car. Youth driver's principle number four states that we must cover horn when tailgating other drivers. It is very important to cover horn when tailgating because the driver ahead of us may slam on their brakes. <laughs> We are now going to go for a neighborhood drive demonstration. To begin, we circle check. We check around our car for oil spills and correct windshields and other obstacles. To begin driving, we enter our vehicle. Next, after entry, we adjust our seat. Mira, stereo, and a finger. A finger placement is essential to safe driving. For this demonstration, Sam is going to drive through an ordinary neighborhood. Driving in a neighborhood requires the use of our finger more frequently than other situations. During a neighborhood drive, we must also be careful not to have heart attack because little kids may run out in front of you. In a typical neighborhood, there are usually many pedestrians. Pedestrians? What pedestrians? Oh. Why is pedestrian putting on shoe? That's not in the script. <laughs> As we approach a cul-de-sac in our neighborhood, we must remember what cul-de-sac means. The English translation of cul-de-sac is as of bag. Remember that one, kids. Ha <laughs> ha! 
When approaching an intersection, we use youth driver's principle number six. This means we check left, center, right, before proceeding through the intersection. We check intersections in this order because the cars on the left will hit us first. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. After we have successfully passed through an intersection, we watch out for parked cars and remember parked cars are like loaded guns. When coming up to an ass of big or sharp corner, it is recommended by youth drivers of Canada that you should drift your car. A drift is a safe way to travel around a sharp corner or an ass of big without applying your brake. Drifting is perfectly safe and having an accident while drifting is impossible. Our demonstrator for this lesson will be Stuss Bob. Stuss Bob is known as the drifter kid at school because he enjoys drifting his car at lunch and before school begins. As we approach the corner, we have selected for our drift, we accelerate, apply brake, then turn sharply into the corner, e-brake, counter steer, and continuing this counter steer until we can see the exit of the corner. Finally, we floor the gas pedal and smile. Now let us try a drift for ourselves. Standard shifting, we will use Robert's 1988 Toyota Camry, which is his baby. To begin, we start the vehicle. Next, we hit the clutch. Gear, wanna? Mira, watch, here too. Mira, watch, here three. Tinga, watch, downshift, Tinga. Tinga. Finger, watch, downshift. Finger, downshift. Finger. We downshift because we are approaching this light and we must slow down to avoid seeing ya. It is important to remember, when we are highway driving, do not shift gears drastically downwards. For example, if we are in gear 5, we do not shift into gear 1 or 2, or the engine may blow. That was some beautiful drifting, Stoss Bob. Ha 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 ha! I hope you have enjoyed this Youth Drivers of Canada instructional video. I'm Harry Dick. Thanks for watching. Remember kids, beep ICBBC.